when we first got into the room, uh, I realized that Christine and I would be doing a lot of the work. The majority of the work. But like 90% of the work. I was feeling a little awkward at times just because I was practically in a shark tank with a bunch of goyles. Joe, he's... I didn't know what to think of him really at first. He's somebody that tests my patience and my nerves. I'll be so dang rich, it ain't funny. Ding, ding, gonna buy me a hot tub. It's all good in the hood. I'll be there, please. I told you I was energetic. And semi psychotic. Self proclaimed semi psychotic, mind you. I am not licensed to be psychotic. I'm putting myself in a hole, aren't I? You are. I should shut up. I do that a lot for some reason. How do you say it? Marie Curie. Marie Curie. Marie Curie. Marie Curie. Like chicken, isn't it? I heard you say like chicken curry. Yeah, we had a Marie Curie. I think that's how you pronounce her name. Or curry, Marie Curie. We opened the book, and Nisha and I look at the picture, and we're like, I thought Marie Curie was a girl. <laughs> because when you look at it, it looked like a man. Who names a man? No, it is a woman. It just looks like a man. The only woman to win two Nobel Prizes. In physics and in chemistry. Dot that down, dot that down. I didn't mean to be mean, but we thought she was a man at first because the picture, she she didn't look like a girl whatsoever. Then when I looked it up, she got a lot prettier in some of the pictures. And I hope like her family doesn't see this. Like, <laughs> like I don't know what family, like, you know, ancestors. The ancestors died. Like, daughters. <laughs> daughters of daughters of daughters. But yeah, I'd say it went well in planning everything out at first. We came up with a plan of attack. I, I had everybody pick something that they knew they would like, like to research and be interested in doing it. And then from that, they would also talk about it in the presentation. What I did is I went out and actually utilized some of the computers out in the library and did some typing, um, stuff like that, and did some more research online and printed that out and then, you know, forward that information back into our little glass cage we had in the library. I, I've never written a five-page paper before, but I'm really good at writing one-page papers. Surprising us with this, like, he's never written anything that long, you know, I mean, he should have said something uh, to begin with. I thought he was going to be hands-on with everything, like he was telling people what to do and what not to do and stuff like that. Me, I actually felt like I didn't give myself something to do because I thought that I was bringing us together so well. So I just helped out people um, who asked for it. His strategy was he wanted to spend like a ton of time researching what to do instead of actually just going out and doing it. Carrie takes orders very well. And she said to me, I'm going to go do this, this, and this. Does that sound all right? And I'm, I was like, sweet, she can think by her, for herself. I'm not going to lie. I didn't be like, hey, team, you know, I'm really strong at this and this. <clears throat> I was just pretty much, I didn't want to be the overachiever, nor did I want to be the person that wasn't doing anything. I mean, with Ben there, it wasn't that hard, you know, to appear as though I was doing, <laughs> you know, enough. The idea we had was to um, have like an like an acting type deal and to just put as part of our presentation and have Joe be Millard Fillmore because he was already quite a character so we figured he'd enjoy that um, because you know he was just he was already very just outgoing. That was originally my idea to have him play Millard Fillmore um, and to do like a more informational thing like that so that it was informative but it was also Kind of interesting, and we went to talk to him about that, and he kind of freaked out. Uh, Are you up for it? Um, you do it? Uh, I thought he was gonna be really excited about it. For the most part, I did do theater in high school, but I always had something I could go off of. Okay. <clears throat> for Millard Fillmore, I don't think any of us knew if there was any like recordings on his life or anything of his voice, so I had nothing to go on so I was like in utter cold sweats almost about doing this 